well, 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 it is September 2nd now, and, well, there's a lot going on in the indoor football circles. It may not be what you want, it may not be what you need, but it's something going on. First off, let's just get the, um, the bad eggs from the NAL out the room first. Um, Will Hanna. Um, he's still trying to get something going. I don't know what in the world he's trying to do with the Baltimore Lightning. Um, as we know, the Lightning got removed from the league uh, like two weeks in, like when they got accepted because they didn't have the money um, to, you know, commit. Now, Hannah and Baltimore and, and HMG. Um, they're like, okay, let's um, let's try build ourselves an arena. Um, and I don't know about San Antonio right now. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it needs to happen at all um, because they've proven already that you, you messed up with the NAL. And if you mess up with the NAL, then who knows what you're going to do with the IFL because the IFL is a little bit more stable right now. Speaking of the NAL, um, I have the old Albany Firebirds logo in the thumbnail, and it seems that this new Albany team that they have will be called the Firebirds. They have the trademarks and stuff set. Um, so there's that. Um, and even worse, you know, which is, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I don't know how that's going to work out for, you know, with this new Albany team, I think it'll work out fine. You know, they are football starved up there. You know, they they really like the Empire, and it was such a shame that the AFL decided to you know just close up shop, and they just didn't have the money. You know, it's just facts. Um, but even this could even potentially be worse for the NAL right now because Greg Fenario, um, the owner of West Virginia, the Rough Riders. He's looking to sell the team. Um, their coach, I forgot his name, he already retired and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, there's there's that. Um, and it could potentially mean that West Virginia could be gone next year because if Fenario finds somebody that can buy the team and stuff like that, then they will be all right. And, you know, NAL will still have nine teams. But if not, we're looking at eight teams for the NAL next year. And speaking of teams, you know, coming and going, we have the rumors of I don't know if it's going to be happening yet because, you know, we still don't – there's still a little bit of time before um, things get finalized and – we can stop talking about indoor football for a little bit. Uh, I believe it's like September 13th when everything needs to be together for IFL teams. So Ontario, Canada, uh, not Canada, California, um, near Los Angeles and stuff like that. There, there's a potential for a team there. Um, and it could be, I mean, you know, there could be some announcement for that in the next few days, but I don't know yet because, I mean, there's nothing. It's been quiet on that front so there's that and you know it's a wild wacky world of indoor football you know and things always change they always change every video I put put out on these leagues it seems like everything changes every five seconds so who knows what's gonna happen next um, you know there again there could be you know an Ontario, California team, or maybe not, who knows? The West Virginia could, you know, go dormant, who knows? Or rather, they're they're basically dead if they're dormant. They're not coming back to dormant. So, um, there could be a San Antonio team. I don't know. It's all interesting right now. And... The most important thing is is that we have to have, you know, some semblance of normalcy return. Uh, 
it's not going to be quick because you know Corona is still out there ravaging uh, the United States, but things are slowly, slowly, slowly going to go back to normal. It just has to be, you know, up to the individual to get things together. And there you have it. Hopefully there's some more, you know, indoor news coming up. If not, um, then I mean, we'll just stick around and, you know, just continue to talk. Um, I'm in a Discord server with other, you know, people that like to talk indoor football, so um, there's going to be plenty to talk about uh, as the offseason, you know, continues. And players are already getting signed back for 2021. Schedules are coming out, not you know, in the best time frame or the most interesting ways. Look, you can cheap CIF. Um, but yeah, there you have it. We'll see you in the next video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, if you like indoor football, please come on down and subscribe. Um, if you like a read up all, Come on down, subscribe. If you, like, you, you, you just like football in general, just come on down and subscribe. So, yeah. Peace, everybody.